Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th, Monday through Thursday. Now, you know that I'm going to be using for the for the week, I will use my Radley Ballantyne Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will pull one from my Radley Ballantyne Guardian Angel. I will also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, this is just the introduction. You're going to find this on all the videos. This is where I go through certain dates and just kind of let you know what's happening just in general throughout the universe. But I will also do another reading, and that will be through my Wait Riot. <laughs> my Wait Rider tarot deck, more of the traditional tarot deck, and my Colette. Baron Reed, the good tarot. I still have to look for her because I want to call her Colleen so many times. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I'm also a Reiki Master 3, so I open myself to higher power, God, Holy Spirit, and just let whatever needs to come through, come through. So, let's see what we've got going on. And do I have my glasses? Because you know I can't see too, too, you know, I can't read too much with this. Okay, so we've talked about on the last reading um, in the introduction that 24th is the end of the Mayan calendar year. There's a lot of different calendars. We've got the Gregorian, we've got the Chinese, we've got the Astrological, we've got the Mayan or the Aztec um, years. So t uh, the 24th, the end of that year. So then we have the 25th, which is the day outside of time, very highly psychic, um, very highly intuitive. It is a time of great contemplation. And then we start the new Mayan year on the 26th. On the 28th, we have Jupiter, which is in, which is in Aries, going retrograde at 4.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, it doesn't just go like, you know, it's not just like a switch. So it's been slowing up, it gets, it's slow, and then it starts to, you know, appear to move backwards. And on the 28th at 1.54 p.m. Eastern Time, we have the new moon in Leo. So very good time, for, and we are in Leo season, so very good time for you to put out your um, requests it does start new seasons. It's a good time to start new jobs. It's a good time to just, um, you know, turn that new leaf over, okay? Put that out there. Now, the Leo new moon is known to be the time when what is called the Lion's Port Portal, um, which is generally, it's all fully opened around 8-8, um, August 8th, that this is when it starts to open, Okay, now there's been some little changes with the calendar, so sometimes I'll hear that it's like the 26th, the 27th, but it generally starts with the Leo new moon. And it's, you know, the star Sirius, uh, the Palladians, um, all of this energy, the sun, this is a very big thing. Um, it is one of those thinning of the bales. Uh, it is one where you may find that you're having a lot of astral projections going on. It is a time when just anything could happen, especially especially August 1st. Now, it won't just be August 1st. It might start, I keep thinking it's more the 29th, 30th. Um, Uranus, which is in Taurus right now, but they're going to be conjuncting together. So there's going to be a lot of power with that. So we will see what we will see here. I have been posting the, uh, so there's, there's a lot of stuff going on this week, a lot of starting. I've been posting some of the Shaman Resonances. Um, I, I really post them when I see them, the spiking really hard. You know, this is a, it's like a space weather correlation with that. Um, now, I am, you know, I am a former labor and delivery nurse, long time back, and I was looking at it, uh, you know, I was looking kind of at the pattern, and even though it's a daily thing, I was thinking, oh, kind of reminds me of the strips that I would see when somebody would be in labor. Just saying. And tomorrow it may not be that way, but it did look very strong. The energies were very strong. So follow me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and on the community page. You know, again, so do that. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. 
I do post, I try to post everything on all three platforms because I know a lot of people aren't on Facebook or Instagram. So I do try to post it on uh, the community page also. So interesting stuff. Where is that going to lead us? You know, we don't really know. There is so much change happening. We feel it so strongly. We feel it so strongly. You know, people are getting, you know, very um, physical manifestations with this too. And, you know, not to say, I'm not, I'm not telling you not to see your doctor or your healthcare person or whoever that is for you, but we just have been feeling lots and lots of changes and lots of this energy. So we have, so, you know, mask higher power, source, God, what we have going on. And, you know, especially for this week of the 25th, let's see, we've got two cards that are face up that kind of felt that fell out and let's see what we have. Oh, all righty. So. We have, remember, numbers are important. Numbers can be used for darker energies, but we are light workers. We are star seeds, so we're going to be pulling those and pulling them into the lighter energies. So now we have six. Six is the number of man. It's the energies that we put into something. Now we can put, some, you know, if we put our energy into something that's negative, we will get negative back. If we keep our vibrations very, very high, and especially with these resonance has happening especially with all this intense energies and there's there's other things going on in the heavens too you know it's just it's just we're being bombarded almost every day again kind of like those contractions too so now six number of man now we have the pentacles here pentacles is earth energy it is your capricorn it is your taurus now remember pluto i think pluto is retrograde right now in capricorn it's going to be there just for a little bit more. Um, we also have Taurus. And again, remember what I was saying about Uranus and Taurus. Virgo. Virgo is our next sign over. So our next season to come. So this is our earth, our money, our job, our career. Uh, it could also be your home. It's very, very tangible. Now the six of pentacles. I do love this because this is money from unexpected sources. These are things that are, you know, this is money coming to help take care of us. Now, in some ways, this card, you know, with the, um, you know, with the rider deck, this card is a little bit different than some of the other ones, too. This one is we have to go and ask for the money, or we, we could either be the supplicants or we can be the providers, okay? We can be the ones giving or we can be the ones get receiving. Um, the thing about it is we do have our we do have our scales there. We do have our justice there. So I'm not saying, I don't know if they're weighing things, um, but again, uh, there is there is money that is coming. It doesn't necessarily mean that we are, um, you know, I, again, which, which way are we? Are we the provider? Are we the supplicants? Are we the ones that are asking for the money? Are we the ones giving the money? Generally speaking, I feel like it's us asking for the money. Now, remember too, you know, if you don't ask, you don't receive, you don't, you know, the answer, you, you don't ask, answer is always a no. You ask, it could still be a no, but it could be a yes. So try, try. If this is a, if you're looking for that job, try, okay? If you're going on the interview, try. This is the whole thing of this week. I think you just have to keep trying, no matter how it feels to you. Um, you know, this is, again, too, maybe it's about a, it's a pride thing, um, but this, there is a little bit of answered prayers with this energy also that I'm receiving. Okay, so let's see. Now we have temperance. Temperance has balance to it. Now it's not necessarily, you know, in some ways you want to look at it as justice, but this is about balance. This is keep seeking and keeping that balance in ourselves. This is a 14. Now we have a, you know, I break it down and I bring it to the lowest number. So we have that one has a new beginning, um, new start. We have a four. Four is stability. Four is um, organization leadership. Add the one and four together, it's five. Five is about change, positive, negative. Temperance is, you know, keep cool, stay cool, stay calm. Let the, you know, let things happen. Let things flow together. Be patient. Things are happening. Things are working themselves out. So I would say that, you know, maybe the money isn't necessarily the greatest money coming in. Maybe it's not the answer to all prayers, but it's going to be enough to get you by. And the, or the universe is enough to get, thing, get things by, get people by, get whatever is going on. Be patient. 
Temperance is about, you know, not leaning too much one way or the other, not leaning too much towards anger, but yet not leaning too much towards, um, you know, just, you know, giving up either. Okay, so interesting with this week with that. I do like, I do like that Six of Pentacles energy too, but again, it's depending on this relationship. There is a relationship that we have to watch. I'm a little cautious with this one. I like it, but I'm a little cautious with it. Next card is, now we have the 17. Again, we have that one energy. We have a 10 energy. 10's our transition, so 10 plus 7. Now, 0 of the 10 is God's source energy, so higher power energy. We have that 7. 7 is the divine umbrella, divine um, covering, divine protection. 1 plus 7 is an 8. Eight has a lot of opportunity, a lot of possibilities. Eight's a very powerful number. Now we have the star. So the star, these two are universal energies, major arcana energies, big energies. These are, you know, some of this is stuff that maybe we don't necessarily uh, deserve. But, you know, there's also the thing with number five. Five also is for grace. And grace is, we may not deserve it but it's still provided for us. It's kind of like a good parent with their child and you know and they're you know and I say good parent because I know that many have had not good parents. So it's kind of like the parent that does provide even if the child um has you know even if the child's been a little bit on the naughty side, okay? So I don't know, is that really a good parent or not? I don't know. Tough love, maybe, maybe not. But the star is all about hope. The star is about positive. The star is about wishing upon a star. And, you know, especially since we have that on the 28th, that new moon. So positive energy. Remember, full moon to new moon is waning. It's getting smaller. Release, release, release. New moon to full moon as it is waxing, it's getting bigger. Accept, accept, request, request. Okay? So there's something, I mean... Again, I'm not quite sure with this pentacles if we need to apply for this money or if this money is going to be divinely um, inspired or divinely provided. Um, it is, again, you know, but we do have these, and these are two very divine energies, so it could be divinely um, provided, okay? Something going on with the money situation this week, this, uh, this week and there's, um, you know, there's some divine intervention going on. Okay, let's see what we've got here with the Colette Baron Reed cards. Higher power, okay, higher power. Do you want that one out? Sure. Here we go. Let's see. The nine of earth. So now we have nine. Uh, earth is, again, the pentacle energy. So, um, you know, so it's a money, job, career. That Capricorn. And remember, Pluto is, re you know, is retrograde. And, you know, that Uranus uh, in Taurus, there are things that could be um, brought up, things that could be dug up, things could, that could be, um, you know, very inspired energy in that tangible. So nine, you've got everything you need. Let's wrap it up. Um, you know, what are you going to choose? What are you going to decide? What are you going to do with it? Okay. So the nine of earth actually has a very positive um energy to it. The nine of earth has this provisional energy to it. The nine of earth says that, you know, it's kind of like that wish cup, wish card, which is the nine of cups, but it's more in the earthly plane. It's more in that tangible. So again, you know, stay, stay firm, stay strong, but money is there, the security of money. Now that's the thing, you know, it's not, um, you know, it's not the love of money. It's when you love money more than anything else that is really the true, um, the true evil and when you'll do anything for money. But this is not that energy. This is more the, you know, hey, we need a roof over our heads. We need some food in our bellies. Um, it'd be nice if we had a, a good job that we liked and that liked us too. So there is some money provisions going on here. Um, there is some divine interventions going on with our money situation. We will see what we will see. Um, I'm okay with that, and, you know, the one thing about this card is, too, is she has a mask on, which I never really noticed. She has a mask on, so there's a sense of mystery about this. So the mystery, I think, again, has that divinity, that divine energy to it. So we will see what we see, 
And two, remember we have, we've talked about the earth sign. There is also our fire sign, um, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, I told you that Jupiter is going retrograde on the 28th. We are in Leo season. There is the Leo new moon, Sagittarius. It's pas- This is all passionate, burning, very determined energy. We talk about the air energy, which is Aquarius, um, Gemini, and Libra. Saturn is in Aquarius still. It, it, you know, things are going to start changing up, but Saturn is in Aquarius right now. And, you know, illusion versus um, reality. You know, what is real? What is what has fake type of energy? And that would be, again, that's our air or swords. And then we have our water or our cup energy, and that is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Fluid and emotional energy. A lot of Scorpio energy going on right now. And, you know, we, we do have Neptune retrograde in Pisces. So there's a lot of that mysterious um, mysterious depth type of energy with that. Okay, anyway, why don't we go ahead again, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, and why don't we start... Oh, and by the way, I will put the... Um, the timestamp in the description for when you can just bypass all of this. Okay, thanks. We'll be there in just a second. Hello to my luscious Libras. How are you doing, my lovelies? Okay, yes, I'm very being very, what is it, um, alliteration? Is that the right word? My L's, my Libras. Let's see. And I didn't do that for Leo, so you're special. You're special, my Libras. Here we go. I, I'm getting, I'm getting a light. I'm okay. I'm getting your wit again. I am getting your things are like you're, you're, you've got a very dry wit. You've got a very, um, you're, you lean a little bit towards sarcasm, but it's really kind of funny. And I'm just seeing, I'm feeling like you're seeing the humor in the situation. You're seeing, you're being more humorous. Uh, so I like that because laughter is always good, even if we're laughing at ourselves. Ah, not so much if we're laughing at others and they know about it. So let's see. Let's see what we have for my Libras from Higher Power. Higher Power, what are you getting? What do you want to tell our Libras here? What do you want to tell our Libras? Again, I'm feeling I'm feeling your very your dry wit. Your dry wit. And enjoy that. Enjoy it. Okay, let's see what we've got. These two are reversed. First card is the Eight of Ariel. You're being recognized. People are seeing your worth. People are wanting you to help with their projects. People are calling you out of the out of the blue. Libras, can you help me with this? Can you can you take this away from me? Can you take this burden? Now, eights are unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Ariel is our Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn and Taurus has a lot of stuff going on right now. Virgo's the next season over. So there's a lot to do with your money, your job, your career, your home. But again, there's a lot of recognition here. You know, you've been, you're, people are wanting you to stay. People are wanting you to come to them. People are, you know, so if you're looking for a job, there's a lot of people that are going to be, be, be offering you that type. They, they recognize what you bring to the table. Now, again, too, that does mean that you do have a little bit of, you do have an option of a little bit of negotiation, okay? So if you are looking for a job, if they offer you a job, I'm not telling you to turn it down. I'm saying, you know, there will be other offers coming to you. So this is going to be a good position for you to do some negotiations, for you to say, yeah, you know, I really, and again, this is how I do, how I used to do it when I was in that kind of work field. I really want this. I re- I am so excited about coming to work for you. Um, now, I would like to discuss, it, you know, how negotiable is the salary? What is your salary range? So if they offer you something, you can always, you know, what is the range? And can we negotiate? Because I always found out, usually to my, um, you know, to my dismay, that somebody that came in a little bit next day, next week, they always got a little bit more than me. Okay, so I learned this. So again, you can always negotiate. and, And you can negotiate without saying no to the job. But I do feel like if you are in or if you are looking for positions, there will be a lot to or there will be more than one, let's put it that way, for you to choose. Now and again, too, I'm always telling you this, too, my, my Libras. I'm telling everybody, don't, you know, 
it's easier to get a job when you have a job. So don't just quit. But there is there is opportunities out there for you. Now, if you're self-employed, there is again opportunities out there for you with that too. Okay, and I do feel like you could be negotiating. If somebody wants you to do a job for you know X amount of money, I really want to do this job, but I, this is you know this is what I am looking for. You might find that they come up on that on that offer. Okay, so anyway, the eight of Ariel, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. You need to know your stuff. You you know, I mean, so, you know, maybe you're getting in, you know, maybe you're bluffing a little bit. <laughs> yeah, don't lie on your resume. Don't lie. Don't lie. That comes back to bite you. But maybe you're, maybe, you know, it's like, well, I know this. Um, you know, don't lie on your resume. But you can say to them, I'll learn. I can learn. I can learn. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Reversed. The page of Gabriel. This has, okay, pages, court cards, dual energy, two energies. Page's underlying energy is this earth energy, money, job, career. Gabriel is our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Leo and Sagittarius has a lot of energy going on around the 28th. And generally, it's it's not just like, oh, the 28th, and then it's over. So it generally comes about like the 25th through the 28th, and then even through the 30th, 31st, when we have more of other things going on. So we have that fire energy, but again, it is that it, with that tangible work energy, that work ethic. This is passion. This is, oh, yeah, I, I really want to do this. So I would say if this was a work reading, that money, that a job was coming in, money was coming in, it was something that you're very, very excited about. If you are self-employed, again, you can take that and apply it to that also. But, and if you're not self-employed, it could be that something you take as a hobby could be turned into something that you can make money out. But either way, the page is passionate about what, what he's doing, she's doing. The page is like, you know, I want this. Now, the page is also a messenger. So the page, you could be receiving news about this, you know, uh, this week too. Looking maybe around, again, that 28th. Again, this week. This week. So, the page of Gabriel is energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Pages... Pages believe in themselves, and regardless of what what the card is, they they believe they can do anything. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So this could also be I'm kind of you know when the, the excitement and adventure. If you're planning on traveling, you could be doing some traveling with this um, opportunity too. Okay, next card, reversed. The king of Ariel. So king's underlying energy is air. It is your energy. It is Aquarius and it is Gemini energy. Ariel, again, is money, is money energy. This is, again, I told you, you're being courted. You're being recognized. People want you. The king of Ariel, now this could be a professional too. It could be a a lawyer, a doctor, financial advisor, but generally it could be you being the person knowing what you know. This is subject matter expert. This is, you know, I have I have what it needs. I have this is somebody that's in demand. This is somebody that they want. Okay, whoever they be, you are wanted in a, in a good way. You in a good way. Okay? So the king stands very tall. The king knows how to make money. The king is very sharp, witted, and the king, the king, the king, you know, this, I think this will even say, no, it doesn't. But one of the cards even says that this king has the Midas touch. Okay? Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. You know, and it's kind of like even if you... Oh my goodness, I'm kind of getting a gardener type of energy here. So like, say that you're a gardener. You know, people want to buy plants. It's kind of like you take, you know, it could even be that you take a hobby and you turn it into something that you can sell, that you can make money off of, or that you can enjoy doing, okay? And again, I'm kind of getting like somebody selling flowers, you know, somebody selling their plants, you know, making, having a little greenhouse or or maybe just, Plants in the windows. You know, it's just like you have something that people want. Okay? So trust yourself with that. So this is what this is a really good again, I do feel like you're 
sense of humor. I feel like you're, you know, you're lightening up a little bit here, a lot here, I should say. So guardian angels, what do we have for our Libras? What do we have? And they want you. Whoever they be, they want you in a good way. Here we go. Let's see. Guardian angel. Celebration. This has come, this has popped up Oh, I think this popped up in one of my earth energies, too. So if you've got an earth sign, just basically cross-watch your, your natal signs, okay? But 17 came up in the introduction, the universal. This is the star. This is hope, okay? So this is a major arcana. This is a, this is a celebration. This is a wonderful time in your life. Difficulties fall away, and the light of, at the end of the tunnel is a star you can wish upon. Remember, Jupiter reversed on the 28th, goes, you know, retro, new moon on the 28th. Start, start all this stuff on the 25th, okay? The timing is right to make long-term plans for a joyful future. Have faith that things are going to turn out beautifully. Part of that is faith. Faith is believing when your common sense... Tells you not to. What was that from? That you know, I know what that was from. So you, maybe somebody else can comment. Okay, let's see what we have here. What crystal or energy we have for our Libras? Now this has been popping up quite a bit, and you see, I shuffle. I shuffle my cards. I think this is like the third third time moss agate has come up and it's about new beginnings nature connections animal allies and security i think this popped up in taurus and maybe capricorn too and if i if not then i know it's popped up this is the third time anyway my libras please comment let me know what this is about let me know if you know the uh movie quote. Oops, it was a movie. Movie quote that I even said. Anyway, take a moment, my Libras, to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. As always, though, my Libras, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.